There's a lot of confusion out there. There's been a lot of folks even going on TV very dogmatically saying, hey, this will never come to the U.S. It's not very <laughs> transmissible. Oh, man. But we know that we're still learning a lot. Yeah. You know, a, a few weeks ago, I, I think I said on the show, you know, I, I know it's in West Africa, but it's only a plane ride away. And, it, and a couple weeks later, it's ha it happened. Let me ask. First, true no virus has ever really been cured. No, we can cure some viruses. There cure are, them? Yeah. I mean, all vi there's many different types of viruses. So not all viruses cause chronic infections. But they come and they go, right? They go into their body and they leave the body. Some come and go, some come in the body and don't leave. So and viruses, like bacteria, right. are, are very right. unique. <clears throat> and they're just like human beings. No two are always alike. I think what I am the most, not concerned about, but still the big question mark for me is, how infectious is Ebola? In other words, how scared should we be here? Right. Obviously, in West Africa, and we'll get to this in a minute, things are out of control. They don't have the resources. They don't so have the money, sad. and it's sad. Mm -hmm. but, but right now, first things first, people here are obsessed with what should I do on a day-to-day -day basis. You still say, okay, don't, don't be scared here in America. Oh, I would say people should be concerned. Okay. Right? This is Good. a very scary virus, but... Uh, when you say how infectious is it, if you come in contact with body fluids, it's infectious. If you don't, it's not. It's not airborne right. transmitted so as far as we had, know. If you had Ebola right now, and we're sitting right here. If you're sitting right there, you're at no danger. No, that's not true, because if, if he spits, you okay. know, because yeah. when we talk, this is true. we spit. Be because it's carried in bodily fluids. So that's the saliva, that's sweat, that's tears, that's urine, that's blood, that's feces. So, so if you happen to spit in my mouth, on my mucous membranes, or in, in my or eye, eye yeah. Well, yeah, then then absolutely. But I have if to be enough virus there. But yeah, I have got, to be symptomatic. Well, well you he's gotta we be sick. think <laughs> we think that. We yeah. still we we say all these things and we You're losing me. Well, <laughs> yeah. what, what, come, what it comes I mean, down to is wait, this. What there's some know, unknowns. There's some unknowns. What, unknowns. We, what we know is it's passed on through bodily fluids. We think so, that so a patient... So, Travis just had it. I'd have it because he just spit on my hand. No, oh, right? no, no. No, it's got to get, no, it's gotta get <laughs> into your body, though. No, no. I got a little cut Rachel, here. But, Look, I got a little pimple right here. That's, wait, wait, here's that's the one thing. Yeah, it is, it is in the spit, feces, vomitus, but it, it's in much less numbers than it is in your blood. Blood you is really the, the biggest... How do you be symptomatic? Not towards the what end of the infection. Right, yeah. true. What, what, in other words, does everybody who comes in contact, if your body fluids were exchanged, will you automatically get the virus? No, I, you know, I, I think who Travis is right. We, we are learning more. We, we still need to learn more. But there's been a fair amount of experience with this virus and other related mm -hmm. viruses like Lassa fever. It is not like an automatic infection if you get exposed to body fluids. We don't know how much body fluids. It probably depends on how much virus there is in the body fluids. If you're awash in blood or vomitus or diarrhea, you're going to have a meaningful risk of mm -hmm. I think experiencing what's scary about this is we keep hearing from healthcare workers who've had on hazmat masks and whole body right. suits and gloves the whole time they've cared for patients. People who really haven't even come into mm -hmm. contact knowingly with anyone who has Ebola and end up infected with it. So I think that there's still information developing, and I think there's a lot of questions that haven't been answered properly and that we just don't and know. You know and that's really where when you ask how easy is it to get Ebola, that is evolving. But remember this, and this is important. Just because you touch a surface or a person who has Ebola, if it's just hanging out, for instance, on your hands, your hands are not a point of entry for that virus. So as long as you then washed your hands, much like with a common cold, and washed the virus away, you should not get sick. The problem is when you, let's just say, you touch someone who has vomit on them, and then you do. You, you touch your hands to your eyes, your nose, your mouth. That's how it gets transmitted. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.